Nationals hosting the Mariners, and the Mariners are minus 164 on the money line. The Nationals are plus 138. The over-under is nine runs. The Mariners laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 100, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Nationals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 120, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Wu pitched once against the Nationals last year. Five innings, two runs, one earned. They lost 7-4. He struck out seven. And Parker didn't pitch, and I saw Corbin listed. And if they happened to switch it to him, he went seven shutout innings. Uh, they won that game 4-1, and he struck out nine. But we'll see which pitching matchup they decide to go to. The weather in D.C. is supposed to be 84 degrees, 5-mile-an-hour winds with no direction, and 9% chance of rain. Head-to-head. They're 5-5 five five against each other. The Nationals are on a four-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4, and four, but the home team has won the last two. The underdog is on a four-game winning streak. The underdog is 7-3 and three on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 8-2. and two. There's been one one-run game in their last 10. Under is hitting their last three. Under is 7-3, and three, and the under nine is also 7-3. and three. The Mariners are 4-1 and one in Wu's last five starts. The over is 3-1-1 one, one in those games. They've won his last four starts. Four and a third innings, 2.6 hits, 1.4 earned runs, 5.2 strikeouts, 1.4 walks per game, 0.8 home runs. He did give up four home runs in one game. 76.2 pitches and then 17.7 pitches per inning. He hasn't given up a home run in his last four games. For the Nationals, I don't know why I'm spacing on their names. For Parker... In his seven starts this season, he's averaging five and a third innings pitched, 5.1 hits, two earned runs, 1.1 walks, 4.6 strikeouts, uh, 0.6 home runs, 81.7 pitches, 15.5 pitches per inning, and uh, they won his last start. They are four and three as a team in his seven starts. Overall, when we get back to it, the Mariners are, because they're the road team, we start with them first. Four and six in their last ten, they're on a four-game losing streak. The over is five, four, and one. Ten runs, five runs, seven runs, four runs. Three runs and a loss, shut out and a loss, and then back-to-back -back games where they scored one run and lost. The unders hit in their last three. For the Nationals, they're three and seven in their last ten, two and two in their last four. The under is six, three, and one. The under is hit in their last three as well. Ten runs, five runs, seven runs, four runs. Shut out and a loss, two runs and a loss, six runs and a win, three runs and a win. I'm rolling with the Nationals once again. Nationals with the money line, Nationals getting the runs in the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.